Hi, this is uh, Armando with the Boxing Corner. Still doing videos from last night. There was a, a slew of fights. This is a, an HBO fight that happened. It was the first fight on the Orlando Salido and Mikey Garcia HBO telecast. It was a fight between Rocky Martinez and Juan Carlos Burgos. Uh, Rocky Martinez won that belt, that vacant belt, against some Mexican dude on the Julio Cesar Chavez and Sergio Martinez undercard. It was a hell of a fight. It was a fight before the main event, before Chavez and Martinez. It was a fight that uh, Rocky just threw a lot. It was a real just brawl, you know, no defense. So seeing this fight here, I was like, you know, this Rocky Martinez, you know, Puerto Rican dude, he's going to throw it. It's going to be a fan-friendly fight. And for the most part, it kind of was uh, in certain instances. But um, I'm not gonna talk about the rounds overall. But I'm gonna think. Of, I'm gonna talk to you about the overall feel of the fight because um, I want to break down the rounds because there's a lot of a uh, suspect between who who won what round. And to be honest, I actually gave seven rounds to five rounds for Carlos Burgos. Um, but the way the the way the the judges you know called it it, it wasn't to uh, a lot of people on Twitter and and wherever on these boxing sites uh it wasn't to their satisfaction but for the most part it was Rocky Martinez wanting to make it into a brawl throughout the whole fight it was him wanting to throw wanting to engage get him against the ropes rough him up because that's where he has his that's where he is comfortable, that's where he's at his advantage, that's where he knows he can score, and where he can win that fight. Uh, he's not really much of a boxer. He probably can box, but he just doesn't show it. Um, and, and Juan Carlos is more the patient kind of boxes. Um, has a lot of power in his punches. Um, you can tell throughout the course of the fight, uh, Carlos Burgos was taking over. He was winning the fight. He was landing a lot of body shots that are always a fucking you know thumbs up in in my uh, in my uh, book. But throughout the fight, you can see around the fifth or the sixth round, Rocky was starting to turn it around a little bit. Uh, he's starting to turn the ship around. I mean, I'm not saying he's automatically starts winning rounds, but he starts doing better and better. Because while Rocky was kind of throwing, Carlos was throwing as well, but his shots were just landing a little bit heavier. There was moments where Burgos was throwing some nice, I mean, some body attack, and you know Rocky would be like, you know, hey, you know, come on, you know, let's let's fight, because that's that's what he wanted. He wants to fight. He wants to engage. He wants to, you know, you know, get into a one of those kind of fights, you know, a, a Reels and Alvarado fight, you know, a phone booth fight. And there were a lot of moments where Rocky was pressuring him against the ropes, and uh, surprisingly, Burgos was actually countering him from, from time to time. But those body shots were um were definitely a plus because while some of them were landing, some of them were landing a lot on on the what's his face, Rocky's, uh, Rocky's shoulder, not shoulder, but his elbow, but you can tell that, um, Rocky was definitely uh, a little bit bothered, I'm not saying he was squinting, he was, you know, on his knees, or trying to run, because he, he really was trying to pressure, uh, Burgos for the, for the most part, throughout the fight, so the fight, um, it went all 12, um, some rounds were scored for Burgos, some rounds were scored for Rocky, I felt that Harold Letterman, had to fight a little bit too wide. I forgot what his scorecards, but I think it was like 117, 111, or I don't even know. Don't quote me on that. But uh, the scorecards were a little wide. Um, there was times later in the round, maybe the last two or three rounds, maybe Burgos won it, but the middle rounds, I felt maybe Rocky had it. But there were times where uh, Burgos was kind of letting up, and uh, Rocky was throwing more even though he may not have thrown more to damage Burgos, but he was throwing more and he was winning the rounds based on that sense. And um, and the scorecards came out. Damn, I don't even have the scorecards with me. 
but the scorecards were, you know, one of them was for uh, for for Burgos um, by like three or four rounds. I don't have the. I can't believe. Can you hold on one second. Uh, hold on one second. I think I have the, uh, the scorecards right here. So I, I score the fights accordingly. So um, here we go. One seventeen, one eleven for Burgos, which I thought was, you know, a little bit wide, but um, you know, that's one of the judges caught it. The second one had one sixteen, one twelve for Martinez, and that one was like, the fuck are you smoking, you know? And then the last one was one fourteen, one fourteen, uh, pretty much caught it in a draw. Rocky Martinez kept his belt. Burgos was kind of like, you know, I I, I guess, you know, I kind of got shitted on. W would you call it a robbery? I don't know. People say robberies left and right. It, a robbery is Timothy Bradley, Pacquiao. A, a robberies are thrown out way too much. Was this a robbery? Probably. Um... But who knows, man? I mean, the fight was sort of close to a certain extent to where I gave Burgos maybe, you know, two rounds. Um, but, you know, Rocky Martinez kept his belt. People on the on his websites were, you know, fucking going ape shit. Um, I mean, that's fucking, as bad as it sounds, it's fucking boxing for you, you know, that this shit happens all the time. Do you want to see a rematch? Nah. I don't want to see a rematch of this fight cuz a lot of a lot of the, a lot of the rounds are very repetitive. <coughs> uh it was action packed sort of but um very repetitive. Uh there's no need for a rematch. Uh let him fight Gamboa, let him fight somebody like that. Let him fight them. I think Gamboa would be a good addition uh to fighting Rocky Martinez. But um that's pretty much it for this video. Uh Rocky Martinez, you know, you know, still has his belt. So, um, this is Armando with the Boxing Corner, and uh, I'll see you next time.